So in this video, we're going to be converting 486,260 seconds into days, hours, minutes, seconds. So my final answer could come out to be two days, um, 12 hours, three minutes and 20 seconds, for example. Um, now, the first thing is you should be able to do this uh, using a calculator and writing down your stages at each point. Um, I'm going to be doing this by hand. So this is going to be using um, short division and a mix of fraction skills. Um, really good practice to kind of really see everything in process and what you can use. So let's have a go. So the first thing is we want to get it into how many minutes and seconds. Okay, can we convert it into minutes and seconds first? Now we know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. So really I want to divide this by 60. So 486,260 divided by 60. Now I don't particularly want to divide by 60 because it's not a very nice number to divide by, uh, divide with I should say. Um, so think of this as a fraction first. Is this a fraction that we could simplify? To make the denominator as easy to work with as possible. So first of all you'll notice both of them end numerator and denominator, both end in a zero. So we can divide through by 10, top and bottom. Now this doesn't change the size of the fraction, but it does make the division easier for us. So instead I could do 48,626 divided by 6, and that will get me exactly the same answer. Can I make it even more, any easier for me? Well, both the top and the bottom are even, so we could divide top and bottom by 2, couldn't we? So that would be 2, 4, 3, 1, 3, over 3. So actually, I've made the calculation much easier for myself. So I can do 24,313 divided by 3. Okay, so let's do that. So, 3's into 2 go 0, remainder 2. 3's into 24 go 8. 3, 8's 24. 3's into 3 go once. 3's into 1 go 0, remainder 1. 3's into 13 will go 4. 3, 4's are 12. And we've got a remainder of 1. So we've got to bring in a 0 and a decimal point. 3's into 10 go 3, remainder 1. 3's into 10 go 3, remainder 1, and so on and so forth. So what we're getting is 8,104.3 recurring. That's out, sorry, that's minutes. So we know that it's 8,104 minutes. Now, to work out how many seconds that is, there's a couple of ways we could do this. <clears throat> The first way would be to think, right, well, I don't need to worry about the 8,104 anymore. All I need to worry about is 0.3 recurring that we have here. So 0.3333333. And then, to con that's minutes, okay? To convert that into seconds, I just need to multiply this by 60 to get it into seconds. Okay, so if I do 0 0.3 recurring times by 60, if I've got a calculator, I can do that very easily. By hand, you would want to think about, well, what is 0 0.3 recurring as a fraction? Through what we've seen with recurring uh, decimals, 0 0.3 recurring would be 3 ninths, which is the same as 1 third. So this is 1 third of a minute. 
Now, a minute being 60 seconds, we're asking what's one third of 60, which is 20. So it's 20 seconds. Now, if you didn't want to go into um, recurring decimals here, which for some parts of this problem could be quite difficult and challenging, there is an alternative way of getting to that 20 seconds. The alternative way would be to say, OK, well, we know that we've got 8,104 minutes. So if I work out how many seconds that is by multiplying the 8,104 by 60, I can see how far, how many seconds short of this we are. So if I do this, I should get 486 two four zero twenty seconds short so let's try it zero times four zero times zero zero times one zero times eight bring in a zero six fours are twenty four six zeros is zero plus the two six times one six times eight is forty eight add those two together And we get the four, eight, six, two, sorry, four, eight, six, two, four, zero. And so we are 20 seconds short. Okay? And you may feel much more comfortable about doing it that way. In fact, I think that's the way I'll probably stick with. Just to make it easier for ourselves. So we now have it in minutes and seconds. The next job is to get it into a certain number of hours, minutes, and seconds. Now we know that we've got 20 seconds on the end. OK? We need to convert the 8,104 minutes into a number of hours and minutes. Now there are 60 minutes in an hour. So I need to do 8,104 divided by 60. Now again, I don't really want to divide through by 60 if I can help it. Is there a way of making this easier for myself? So let's take a look at 8,104 divided by 60. Now I know that top and bottom can't both be divided by 10 without going into decimals. But I'm not afraid of going into decimals here. So let's just do that. Divide top bottom by 10. We'll get 810.4 over 6. Dividing through by 6 is easier than dividing through by 60, so that's fine. Now you might think, well, I could divide top bottom by 2. 810 divided by 2. It's 405, so 405.2 divided by 3. Same sized fraction, but it is making the calculation easier for myself. So let's do that. 405.2 divided by 3. 3's into 4, go 1, remainder 1. 3's into 10, go 3, remainder 1. 3's into 15, go 5, remainder 0. 3's into 2, will go 0, remainder 2. 3's into 20, will go 6. 3, 6 are 18, remainder 2. 3's into 20, will go 6, remainder 2, and so on and so forth. So... We have another recurring decimal here. We have 135.06 recurring. So I now know it's 135 hours. OK? So I don't need to worry about the 135. All I'm interested in is that 0 0.06 recurring. Now, if you wanted to go down the recurring decimal route, OK, um, then I'll show you how to do that. But I will also show the multiplication method that I showed for that previous stage, how we got to that um, 20 seconds last time. OK, 
So, in order to convert that into a fraction, I would call it x, and then I'd multiply that through by 100. 100x would now be 6.66666666. And if I subtract that from that, I'm going to get 99x is 6.6. .6. So x is 6.6 .6 over 99. So it's not a particularly nice fraction. Now I can multiply it on the bottom by 2. So 66 over 990. And I need to multiply this by 60 to turn it into minutes. Because remember this is hours. So I need to turn it into minutes. So in order to multiply that by 60, I'd have to multiply the numerator by 60. Uh, so 0, 0, bring in the 0, 6, 6 to 36, 6, 6 to 36, so 39. So if I multiply that by 60, we would now have 3960 over 990, and that's minutes. Okay? Now, top bottom can be divided through by 10. Now, that's four, isn't it? That's four minutes. Um, 396 divided by 99, because 99 times 4 is 100 times 4, take away 4, which is a 396. So that is precisely 4. So it's 4 minutes. That's the way that you could do it with recurring decimals. Remember, that's, that's higher uh, GCSE maths material only. So let's see how we could do this without doing that way. So maybe the easier way would be to go, well, um, we've worked out there's 135 hours. So to convert that back into minutes, I would need to multiply 135 by 60. Now, this should end up with 8,100. The answer should be 8,100 because it should be four minutes short of that if we've done this right. So 0 times 5, 0 times 3, 0 times 1, bring in a 0. 6 fives are 30. 3 6 is 18, plus the 3 is 21. 1 6 plus the 2. And there's the 8,100. OK? And so it is 4 minutes short of that. And so 4 minutes is what I wanted here. You can see that was a lot easier. So you can very much like overcomplicate this if we're not careful. But on a calculator, that's probably going in, using the decimals and multiplying through by that's probably the way that I would naturally do it. We've got one stage left. We need to convert this into a certain number of days and hours. But we know that it's 4 minutes and 20 seconds. <clears throat> now we know that there are 24 hours in a day. So I need to do 135 divided by 24. I don't particularly like dividing by 24. So let's consider the fraction. Now the tricky thing here is we can't divide top and bottom by 10. That won't make it any easier. Um, I could divide top and bottom by 2. 135 divided by 2 isn't too difficult to do in your head. Uh, 130 divided by 2 is 65. So that'd be 67.5 divided by 12. Divided by 12 is a bit easier than divided by 24. So I'll probably stick with that. If you're comfortable about dividing top bottom by 2 again, you could then end up dividing through by 6. That might be a bit easier. So 
divided by 12. Let's go with that. Now, 12s into 6 go 0, remainder 6. 12s into 67 go 5. 5 twelves are 60, so we've got 7 remainder. Now, 12s into 75 will go 6. 6 12s are 72, so we have 3 remainder. 12s into 30 will go 2. 2 12s are 24, so with 6 remainder. 12s into 60 go 5. So there's no recurring decimal anymore. Uh, we've got a terminating one. We've got 5.625. So I now know it's 5 days and a certain number of hours. <clears throat> So let's just look at the 0 0.625. So that's hours. Oh, sorry, that's sorry, that's days. 0 0.625 days, which I now need to convert into hours, which I can do by multiplying through by 24. I don't need to turn the 0 0.625 into a fraction um, to multiply it. I can just use long multiplication here. So 4 5s will be 20. 2 4 is 8 plus the 2 is 10. 6 4 is 24 plus the 1 is 25. Bring the 0. 2 5s are 10. 2 2 is 4 plus the 1 is 5. 2 6 is a 12. Add those two together. And we've got 3 numbers to the right of the decimal point, so we're at 15. So we should be at 15 hours. Now again, I haven't done that in the <coughs> way of seeing how much difference we are. So let's do it that way as well. So you may go, well, um, our answer should be 120 then, 120 hours, because we're going to be 15 hours short, right? So that would be from doing five hours, sorry, five days, times by uh, 24. So we've got four times five is 20, bring in a zero, two fives are 10. And we get 120. And you can see we are 15 hours short of that. And so this is our final answer. 486,260 seconds is 5 days, 15 hours, 4 minutes, and 20 seconds.